Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a very nice piece. This is a 2020 Kubota U27-4 uh, mini rubber track excavator. This is a well-equipped machine, was a local one-owner machine, bought new at a local Kubota dealer. Uh, he ended up going to a little bigger machine for what he was doing. Uh, he is a little guy, just has a firewood business and uh, works another job. Long story short, was a well-kept machine, was kept inside, uh, very, very clean, and it does come with the total package here of a OEM Kubota hydraulic thumb. It has the OEM U27, U25 series bucket coupler on it with a single pin, OEM. This is a 18-inch uh, tooth bucket, I do believe, Matt, and what we said. 18, a 12, and I just sold him, I think it was April of this year, the 30 uh, six inch cleanup bucket uh, for this machine. This is an Attachments Plus brand um, 36 inch cleanup with that style of coupler. Um, everything there, you can see the 12 inches of light blue bucket. Everything is there. It's a complete package. Uh, we're going to start back here in the engine compartment. We're going to take it completely around this machine. You can see the counterweight is nice and straight. It is not scuffed, skint, anything like that. There again, the man took care of his equipment. Very nice, clean machine. Um, we're going to open this up. You want to talk about some really cool engineering that Kubota did. So there's your overflow jug. So when you open the door, they have that on a hinge system. And I found that to be extremely, extremely smart engineering. When, when you do that, it folds the overflow jug in out of the road. It's really, really, really cool. Uh, this unit is powered by Kubota D1105, three-cylinder diesel engine. Another neat little feature they've done, they use this little latch here system to open up your side cover. And in your side cover, you got the top of your radiator, hydraulic tank, battery, and fuel all right here in this panel, which is a very nice, slick, clean setup that Kubota uses. To close that up, you're going to bring this back, and it's going to latch right in just like that. The back door, again, all you're going to do here, raise this up, fold him in latches. Sheet metal, all the car body panels are beautiful, nice, straight, nothing scratched, skint. It's a very nice, clean, original machine. Tracks and undercarriage are going to be 85 to 90 percent plus. Again, you can see all the original track frame paint is on it. Sprockets still have the zinc plating on the bolt heads. Uh, coming out your boom, your dips, dipper cylinder here, your boom cylinder guard is in place, not broke, bent, or busted. Headlight coming out your boom, all your cylinders are dry, and you can see that throughout the machine. Swing boom, push blade. Coming here to the operator station, you have an opener ops machine. You will see here a fully adjustable seat, does have the nice high back seat. Here is your pattern changer. Here is going to be John Deere control, and you can simply pull up on that dial, and then you're your cat control. There is a panel right here, which I will go ahead, open this up. It's just a storage compartment. You can put a grease gun, some miscellaneous tools, your fuse panels down there, and that's about it. Heading up here to the operator station. Fairly a simple machine. So, here you have your headlight. And if you'd ever put a beacon light on or an auxiliary power you need, there it is. Throttle is here. This is going to be your blade lever. And then that's going to give you your two-speed. When your dead man's down, there's your two-speed engaged. 300, 14 hours. I'll start it here to show you that there is no error codes. And that was because I have the dead man down. So, you can see there's no error codes. To activate your thumb, you will push the auxiliary button. That light will illuminate, and then off of your rocker switch right here, this is going to allow you to operate the thumb. Now, pretty cool little feature that Kubota put on this. If you want to slow that down, you can slow it down off of that knob to slow your speed of your thumb down. Actually, you can even shut it clear off for the most part. So that was pretty neat that they've done that. I feel like that's a pretty cool feature. You can shut that back off. You just can shut that off. The other is going to be for um, time 215. Um, that's going to be 1306 RPM. And I believe this takes us back to that. C is going to be for your uh, error codes. You see there's no error codes. It shuts that back off. 
Over here is going to be your swing boom for your uh, boom out here that locks out then. This is going to be for your uh, basically a foot rest is what it is or if you had an extra third function on the machine. I will give this back to Matt. We're going to fire this machine up. We're going to run it around and shoot. Is there anything supposed to do? Here we go. Remember, always have that dead man up to start. So, I'm going to go ahead and engage the auxiliaries. Go ahead and put in two speed, single speed, two speed. So, you can see there that the finals pull under their own power without an issue. You can see we're doing moldy functions. This does have, Kubota always did what's called a power dig hole in their couplers. So that bucket actually can be pinned where it's going to curl up further or curl out further, which is a nice thing Kubota did. Here we're two speed tracking. see the machine's got good power to do what it's doing and again this is a nice little size machine See the bucket mates up. See the machine has really good power in all angles, it'll pick itself up. It's stuff you want to see when you're buying a piece of equipment, in my opinion. Something I forgot, turn on the lights. It's a really nice little verti verti yeah, versatile machine. And again, um, comes with three buckets, hydraulic factory thumb, set up, ready to go to work. Um, a very, very good, clean, original machine. And that is stuff that I like to own, and stuff I like to sell. Um, it sells itself. And the biggest thing that we do here that I like to set myself apart from, and not every guy can do it. They don't, either don't want to spend the money or they don't have the help. But we do go through our equipment, we service it. Um, all the filters and oils have been changed in this machine. Um, it is fully serviced, and when I say fully serviced, we changed every single filter 
with an OEM Kubota filter. We did the hub oil so that it was done. Uh, we like to sell stuff like that. I don't want to have the issues and problems that other guys go through, um, such as, hey, this machine got here, it won't run. Hey, this machine got here and nobody serviced it, nobody did anything. That's the difference between me and a lot of the guys on the internet. We do service our stuff before we sell it. Hey, could anything blow a hose have an issue? Yes, that's the used equipment world. But the reason I take this time to get through this stuff is that I feel confident when we sell something that it's right and ready to go. And again, it's hard to argue a 300-hour machine. This, and this is the kind of stuff I like to buy, stuff that we know where it come from, what it was, who had it, what was done with it. And this is the kind of stuff I like to sell compared to the guy that he's buying a machine that was the whole side was caved in he bought new sheet metal or he hammered it out and he spray canned it that's not my thing it's not my mo so if you got any questions 814-658-3066 please check out our website www.marksupplyco.com please check us out on tractor house machinery trader we'll be glad to help in any way that we can you want to come see this machine yourself in person i have absolutely nothing to hide come check it out if you need a freight quote let us know we'll be glad to help you 814-658-3066 as always thank you very much for checking out mark supply company have a great day